hey what's up guys so in this video i want to talk about how you can protect your samsung galaxy s24 ultra against viruses and hacks and there is a dedicated privacy and security section that samsung has built into the phone so let's go in settings then go in security and privacy and here you will see everything that's related to security and privacy on your phone so we'll go through these one by one First of all, we have lock screen. So here you can set up your lock screen. You can set up your fingerprints. And that's the basic first step to protect your phone. You can go in fingerprints. Here you can add fingerprints. You can check your fingerprints. Um, you can go through the fingerprint settings. So you can access your fingerprint settings from here as well. Next up, we have account security. Now, what I like here is that you have Samsung account security as well as Google account security both built here. So if you go in here, it will take you to your uh, Samsung account and Google account security settings straight away. And you can go there and go through these settings. You can check your password, your account activity, your two-step verification. Everything is in one place and you can go through it and make sure that your accounts are secure. Next up is extremely important feature, which is um, lost phone protection. So here it's related to your Samsung account. You can... Uh, select options uh, like allow this phone to be found uh, send last location and then the most important one offline finding so even if your phone is not connected to network it can be found uh, this feature uses the network of other galaxy phones uh, to locate your phone and if you turn this feature on your phone will also be used to locate someone else's phone in case they lose their phone next we have app security so here you can turn on app protection and if you go in here you can scan the phone to find any malware or any viruses and any apps installed on your phone so you can do this right now then we have google play protect so this is the google built-in feature it scans all the apps through play store that have been installed on your phone for any malwares or any viruses and if there's anything like that it keeps an eye on those apps and remove them next we have updates so you can check that you have latest security update and latest google play store update on your phone installed so this is everything in one place these are all the basic security features my ears that you can access in one place and go through them one by one but now let's talk about some more advanced features and additional security settings the first one is biometrics so if you go in here you can you know set up your face recognition fingerprints and all the settings uh, related to it then one of the most important features when it comes to security and privacy is auto blocker so you can turn this on and it blocks apps from unauthorized sources turns on app security checks locks commands by usb cable you can also set up um, messaging app protection so any malware photos will not load and it will also block software updated by usb cable so in case someone wants to connect a usb cable to your phone and install a virus or hack it uh, this feature will block that uh, attempt next we have uh, more security settings so if you go in here you have the secure folder which is an alternate profile that you can create on your phone you can install apps you can have your photos galleries files everything in there it's a separate secure uh, vault on your phone and then there is secure wi-fi so in secure wi-fi uh, you have a protection activity where you can go and you see when your uh, wi-fi was protected and how it was protected you can turn on auto wi-fi protect and here you can select whether you want adaptive protection public wi-fi protection only or dns protection only if you select Adaptive protection, it will switch between public Wi-Fi and DNS protection according to what your phone needs at that time. And then there is a protection plan as well. So uh, you get one gigabyte per month for free every month, but you can upgrade that plan. You can get a first month free trial. And after that, uh, you can set up a $3 per month unlimited protection for your Wi-Fi or if you just want one day protection you know you're traveling you'll be connected to wi-fi on airports or something like that you can also get a 24 hour unlimited protection for just 149 dollars next up we have enhanced data protection so here you can encrypt your backup data and you can encrypt your synced data 
so that adds an additional layer of protection for your backed up data and then we have samsung pass where you can you know store your credit card information your addresses your payment information everything in one place and then one really underrated feature that i want to talk about is the pin app feature it's a forgotten feature but it's a fantastic feature if you turn this on you can then pin an app on your device's screen and then you cannot get out of that app so if i pin this settings app on the screen it will be pinned and I will not be able to go out of this app unless I hit the back and recents button together. So now you can see that any button I press, I can I cannot go out of here. I cannot access the quick settings. This app, I'm stuck with this app. So this is a very useful feature if you're giving your phone to someone else to do something. Maybe you're giving it to your kids to play a game or anything. You can pin that app and then they cannot get out of that app and you know do something fishy with your phone and then you press the back and recents button together to get out of it and then still you need to give your fingerprint to access the phone which is great i think it is a fantastic security feature check your settings if you're using even a non-samsung phone you, you will have this pin app feature available because it's an android feature and then we have permissions and here you can see which apps have permission to different uh, settings like nearby devices location phone sms contacts which apps have access to all these different features and then you can go in these and you can revoke their access as well if you want right from here uh, once again another uh, security feature available in security and privacy settings i think this is a fantastic um, place to start with if you are looking to protect your phone uh, and secure your phone and that's about it from this video guys i hope this was useful for you i will see you in the next one till then take care